In 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33, it says, God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. Now, we're going into a new work week. And many people on this Monday will face real conflict and real confusion. Well, how do you face something like that? Well, let me share with you the way most people do it. Most people go into conflict and they are in a confused day and they're thinking in their head, even as other people are talking about what they are going to say next. They want to appear intelligent. They want to say the right thing. They maybe, let's be honest, get the better of the other person, win the argument. Well, there is a better way. When you are faced with a day that is less than harmony, when you are in confusion, when there's conflicts rising about you at work, I'm going to ask you first to go to God in prayer. Now, I often tell people, they say, well, I don't have time to pray. I'm at my desk. You don't have to close your eyes. You don't even have to fold your hands. You just simply take a step back inside of yourself and talk to God. You say, God, there seems to be chaos all around me. God, I, I need help. Show me a way out of this confusion. And, and help me to be a part of that. Help me to establish harmony in my workplace. Help me to bring peace. You will be amazed at what happens. You will be given ideas. Some of the most brilliant things that I've ever said in moments like that have not been my own. It's been God. Sometimes God gives me an idea that I fight with at first. I say, oh, gads, I, I could never say that. And yet, when you get the faith enough to say it, it absolutely establishes calm and harmony and tranquility. And it lasts way beyond the moment. Sometimes it lasts for years. So if you find yourself in a situation today or this week or, or at any time, at work or in the home, step back for a moment inside of yourself and say a prayer and ask God to come through you. See, you were created in the image of God. You were created in divine love and divine peace. And that can come through you. It can come through you as you. If you let it, and you let it, you allow God to, to flow through you. And as this happens, all negative thoughts are dissolved into nothingness inside of you first, and then inside of others that are in your presence. And you're also going to feel a deep sense of peace even when the chaos continues. You'll find that you have an inner power where you're not caught up in it. You'll have um, a power to react in a new way. To be proactive instead of just reactive to situations. And you'll feel a tremendous confidence. You know why? Because you'll know your oneness with God. You are one with the harmony of God today. And today is not a day of confusion because it's a day of God. God is with you and therefore today is not a day of chaos. It's not a day of disharmony, but a day of peace. God bless you, my friend, in peaceful, God-directed ways.